listeners and viewers. Today we are on Global Studio with the Environmental Heroes. I'm Porn, I'm the host today. Let's hear what they are going to say about climate changes and later on we are going to ask them some questions. Good day. We are the Wacky team from Northern Cape Uppington, specifically from Intermediate School Movie Vale, five kilometers from Uppington. The environmental heroes, as you heard, our motto is to never give up even when we get tired of doing what we do best. And our aim and vision is to keep our community and school clean and safe, protect our children from diseases, and educate them about the recycle and reuse of waste. The team will introduce themselves, but first we're starting with me. I'm Diana Simon, the coordinator. I arrange meetings and organize all the resources we need. My name is Mpo, I'm the secretary. I take minutes of our meetings and also take over as technical manager. My name is Jimena Rit and I'm the photographer. I take photos, make videos and audios at every event and we do it as evidence. My name is Tanya van Beek, I'm the Deputy Secretary. I take notes of our projects. I also carry out duties of our Secretary in her absence. My name is Nelly Barnes and I'm the Team Leader. I arrange meetings, control lead and manage all activities. My name is Silasma Isaacs. I fulfill the duties of the Team Leader in her absence. My name is Fernando Chuene and I'm the Financial Manager. I draw up a budget and handle all financial parts of events. So, you call yourselves the environmental heroes. So let's hear, why do you choose this topic? We chose this topic because we have a lot of air pollution in the community. There is heat at the side of the school and we have a problem with littering at street corners in the community, at school fences and in front of schools. We also chose this topic because our learners have to walk in the middle of the road because on the side of the road there is rubbish. Hello environmental heroes, what action did you take as part of the project? Firstly, we have talked to the learners at the school assembly, we've talked to the municipality and we wrote a letter to the councillor. We also asked the SGB for help. We have teached the children at our school how to use waste material to make valuable things. We have planned to help a no school back challenge where we asked the RCL and the YCAP members for a donation of 50 rand and the total income we received was a 490 rand and we used the money that the learners contributed for their orders. Back to you environmental heroes, what impact or changes did you make? One of the impacts we had is at our school because before our project our learners threw rubbish all over our school areas. That is why we put up the bins. Now the learners know how to clean up after themselves no, and they know how where to throw in the paper, plastic and organic. We use the organic stuff for the feeding skin garden and for the garden of our school. We made an impact on our rock garden while we were making it. My spelling came to our school and told our principal that they will remove the rubbish heaps in front of our school and launch a project for the community to make rock gardens. Weeks ago, we sent a letter to the municipality so that they can come and clean up the rubbish in front of our school. But they took too long. So we went in person to the municipality office and told them that they must come and clean up the rubbish in front of our school. Because in that week, we had a provincial choir competition and the view out there didn't look very nice. So they came and cleaned up the rubbish in front of our school. So now it looks neatly. We have teach the grade 7 learners how to make valuable things out of waste material. They have decided to make um, plant holders out of plastic bottles and give it as a gift for the, for the woman in our community on Women's Day. Back after the break with the environmental heroes. Tell me, what did you learn the most from using the Waikap Toolkit to do this project? The Waikap Toolkit taught us step by step on how to do our project. It also taught me to be a great leader and how to manage the team and all activities. It taught me how to work well with other people, how to solve problems and also how to manage my time. It taught me how to draw up a budget and to overcome my fear of talking in front of many people. The Waikap Toolkit taught me the importance of teamwork and how to take responsibilities and ownership. environmental heroes this is the last and final question what was the highlight or what challenges did you overcome during your project the challenges we had we have planned to help a modeling show where the learners must use waste to make clothes and model in them 
The reason why it couldn't happen was because of the exams. We wrote a letter to the municipality for the big green recycle bins. The reason for that is the community members still throw their rubbish everywhere. One of the challenges we had was that Yulandre Snyder, our secretary, went to another school. So we added and Paul Sebe, our secretary, and Tasni Van Beek, our deputy secretary. We also had a problem with our technical manager, Tess Lee Irion. She didn't come to last minute meetings. Our mentor asked her what the problem was, but she didn't give any reason. We also had a problem with team members coming late or not showing up at all to team meetings. And that made it really hard for us to work together at the beginning of our project. Another challenge we had was the opening of the bins. We asked our caretaker to come and open the bins, but it took him some time to open it and we couldn't paint the bins in the time he wanted to paint it. And for us learners, we can't open the bins because it needs to be opened with a grinder and we're not qualified enough to work with a grinder. I also have highlights and one of the highlights was when the municipality came and cleaned in front of our school. Another highlight was this rock garden that we made to make the community members and learners aware of the importance of plants. This rock garden motivated the municipality to launch a project for the community to make rock gardens all in front of the school. We know this because the municipality told a uh, principal about it. The highlight for me is the bus that our wacket team put it up all around our school so that children know how to clean up after themselves. Then I also have one challenge. We have struggled a little bit with the painting of our bus, so we asked for a sponsorship from the SGB and our parents, but they took too long. One member of the SGB and two parents donated us 525 rand, but that wasn't enough. So we as the wacket team gathered again and went to the principal to go and ask him for, for that money from last year. Global warming is killing me and I, I must confess I have